Hello everyone, I decided to make another video that specifically goes over the process of making a looping projection. Uh, and this is mainly, I had some, um, a lot of questions as to how to do some type of standalone uh, video system uh, when you do project or when you use a Microsoft PowerPoint or a program that allows you to uh, reshape areas and either map the area that you want to project to. Um, I do have a video on my channel that goes through the specifics on how to use PowerPoint to do that. Um, I do understand that there's many, many programs out there that you can use that are specifically for mapping houses in your, when you decide to do some type of projection. Uh, my channel does focus on how to basically create fun in a cost-effective way, so I will focus on a lot on Microsoft PowerPoint since it is a common program that we have. Uh, I will go a little bit over the um, how to record your final presentation uh, so that you can put that into a USB or a memory card for your media player. Uh, currently, my setup is this. This is definitely what I recommend. Uh, I have uh, my final presentation in a USB that I have um, uh, inserted into my media player. Uh, once you have the correct aspect ratio on your media player set up, you can set that particular file uh, to loop continuously. And therefore, you can kind of just leave it alone once you set it up. Uh, I do have this media player inside with the projector. Uh, it is inside a water-resistant enclosure, uh, which soon I will create a video on how to do something like that in a cost-effective way. Um, I, I do not recommend this bottom one here. I did run this for an entire year, so if you're trying to uh, dab a little bit into projection and you want to just kind of play with it a little bit, um, this is something you can do. I did have a bunch of cables at one point because I did have enough of them. Um, I don't really recommend this because if you are going to buy a bunch of cables, it's basically uh, more than just buying a media player. I will include a link to this um, in the details of this video as well. Uh, this, these usually type run around anywhere from $20 to $30. Um, but if you want to um, just kind of experiment a little bit, uh, you could run your laptop next to the projector outside. But it's not recommended because, as you know, anything can happen with your laptop, basically just being outside. So now I wanted to focus on uh, basically how to record your final presentation that you want to use from either um, an iPad Pro, which is currently what I'm using, or even from your PC, uh, or even if you were to create something from your phone. Um, this is kind of uh, what I wanted to show how to do this last process in order to put that into a USB. So I'm going to be... Uh, reviewing some of that right now. So <clears throat> essentially when you're using PowerPoint, you can literally go outside and have your laptop or iPad or whatever it is you're using directly connected to the projector. And imagine this white area being the entire area uh, that your pro projector can technically reach. Um, in my case, I'm using an example of my Halloween setup. Uh, so I will focus on these blue ovals or circles that I want to project to directly um, and imagine this whole area that you have to work with or it being the garage door or something like it. So I wanted to explain how I ended up um, basically splitting the Atmos FX uh, file that I purchased from them directly um, because I did have a really large area to work with and I, I kind of wanted to make it fun and and uh, also almost give it that, uh, how did you do that kind of aspect? And um, I didn't want them together or just put in, putting everything side by side as the actual video shows it, but um, I wanna show you how to do that particular process here. Uh, because my current, um, PowerPoint doesn't allow me to crop videos. I will show you how to, uh, an alternative way to do it um, before pasting them into the actual project itself. But basically, what I ended up doing, um, just for the ease of this particular video, is you can just, it's as simple as just hitting edit. And individually cropping each video. Or sorry, the same video three times so you can, you're able to basically separate them. So once you have your, your first file here, and I've already sped up the process here a little bit. 
so these particular files here or videos, and it could be a, a, a gift that you find online, a video you find online you could take a screenshot of or, or whatever it is that you want to do. It's as easy as doing something like insert video. Once you have it inside and you've already pre-cropped these uh, through your actual um, album, um, like I said, this particular PowerPoint program that I have on my iPad Pro just didn't allow me to crop, so I, I pre-cropped them earlier before adding them on here. But once you've already added them, um, as you can imagine, the area that I have to work with was this. So it's as easy as reshaping whatever area it is you're trying to fit. And PowerPoint does allow you to do that. But let's just say once you're completed, uh, one of the things that you can do is format the back background because obviously you don't. This is a whole area that you have to work with, and you don't want your projector projecting the entire house or something or whatever, unless that's your that's what you're really trying to go for. But you can do something as easy as black the entire background. So once you're now officially uh, in presentation mode, which is where you're going to be taking your screenshot from. <clears throat> you are now, they all, they all now look like there's the same file. Uh, and one thing you can do is, in my case itself, I ended up basically just bringing the volume down on all of them but one. And I ended up finding just a specific time that would work um, as far as getting the final presentation or the final video so that all the voices and all the movements could be in sync. So right now it's going to be a little bit delayed, but it's just a, a matter of playing Once with the actual the full moon blooms, children dress in costume. Basically what you would do is you would take a screenshot or a screen recording of this entire setup. And this is basically what would make it out into your USB drive of, of officially as your final video that you would have it loop over and over. And that's basically how I wanted to go over the process of doing the a continuously looping uh, projection. As always, if you want to know more details of everything uh, and also know how to work with Microsoft PowerPoint when it comes to this type of setup, uh, feel free to follow my channel. I will include as much detail as I possibly can. And like I said, I will be uh, adding another video that shows how to do a um, uh, fully enclosed uh, en enclosure for the projection system that basically you can just kind of leave outside, uh, maybe just bring it in super late at night or something or whatever. Uh, but it is actually uh, weatherproof completely. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, please hit subscribe and follow my channel for a lot of uh, ideas that are gonna be coming up shortly. Thank you.